Hello guys and welcome back to the Thermal Mods series. In this video we'll talk about the two final dynamos. Uh, we've covered all the other ones in two episodes before but we have only two left. It's the reactant dynamo and then the compression. So the first one is quite simple so let's begin with that. It's the reactant. It has fluid fuel which means that it will run on on uh, disabled redstone or energized glowstone but since it's called reactant it its energy generation is based on a reaction between the fuel and a reactant and the reactant in this case can be sugar netherwort gunpowder blaze powder and gassed tears so all of them will generate energy together with both of these fuels. But the glowstone is slightly better. So let me demonstrate. I'll have some sugar. Let's place one here together with the redstone. And hit run. And then all the other things that you already know about dynamos. Like the, well we can start this one as well. Like the basic version will give you 40 RF and then hardened, reinforced and so on will give you 60, 80 and so on up to 120. And then of course the other augments or the first four augments, transmission coil, catalyzer, coil ducting and field limiter, they work exactly the same. So I'm not, I will hardly mention them more. So this one is generating power Everything is very simple and easy. You can see the recipes here. And all the reactants will work with both of them. So let's jump over to a chart I made here. Here you can see how much energy you will get from, uh, from each and uh, what, what fuel you can use. So, but the only thing you need to remember is that glowstone is better Use that if you have plant a surplus, otherwise redstone is quite fine. So this is the basic functionality of this uh, of the reactant dynamo, but they can also have a different type of fuel. So this one is a bit harder to, to understand. We, let's go into it. You can use different types of dusts and some uh, other types of fuels. Blazing pyrothium, gelid cryothium, we've seen them before, and they will react with cryothium dust or pyrothium dust. And then it's done like this, so blazing pyrothium will react with cryothium dust, and vice versa. But you won't get any energy from gelid cryothium together with cryothium dust, because it's the same, same type, so no reaction will, will happen. And then the other setup is petrothium dust with sapphirian aerothium <laughs> this is very funny names and tectonic petrothium together with aerothium dust will also give you the same amount of power but all of these fuels that you have down here will not work with these reactants and these fuels will not work with these solids so let me demonstrate how it looks. Pyrothium dust together with cryothium dust. And then the vice versa, we have pyrothium dust here and then and so on. And all of them will give 400k. Just remember which, well, it's you need to remember, just check the recipes. You can see You can see them here, blazing pyrothium, tectonic pyrothium, and so on. So nothing weird, just remember that the opposite will react. So except for these four, well I have them here, the four augments uh, that are the same, there are a few that, there's one that is not the same. It's called elemental catalyzer. And this will change the reactant dynamo into a mode where it will only work with elemental reactions. That means these four. 
So if you if you're using a setup with with any of these fuels, you will it will only work with the dusts I've mentioned. So in that case, throw in this augment. You get more power. You get plus twenty five percent, so you get five hundred k instead of four hundred k. But it's locked to that fuel. So quite simple, and even though they are a bit advanced since you need special fuel and a solid reactant, it's actually not that hard. Okay, so the second and final dynamo that we'll cover is the compression dynamo. So this one is a bit has a few more augments, but it's actually not that uh, much more advanced just for that. This one runs on liquid fuel and liquid liquid coolant. So for example, water to cool the engine and then there are different types of fuels, uh, quite, quite a lot. Refined fuel, seed oil, creosote oil, tree oil, nafta, crude oil. So, so quite a few of them. Um, and other mods adds more fuels as well. But you need coolant. So water, uh, and by the way, do you remember the episode where we talked about this one? Where we had the isentropic reservoir to make the magmatic dynamo run on uh, to, to require fuel or coolant. Well, basically the same thing. You have a coolant factor. We have uh, and we have this formula that will help us calculate the energy. So, uh, and this works exactly the same, but without augment. So, for example, creosote oil will give you 40 KRF, as you can see here. We have water as coolant, so that's the, uh, it had 20%, so we get RF equals the value minus 20% plus the coolant factor, which is 20. So we get the value here. But then using cryothium, we get the value minus 20 plus 60 instead. That means that we'll get 56k out of the creosote that only gave us 40 here. All right, so not too hard, I guess. Uh, but of course, it is much better coolant. So that's why I get more power out. And this scales exactly the same regardless of what fuel you use. So here we have the same. Well, if you take, take a look here, we have the refined fuel, 2.1 million in this one. And... 1.5 million here. Okay, so let's move on with the augments and um, because that's a basic functionality. It's not more advanced than that. Uh, and we have the four augments like before. They are doing the exact same thing, so I will not cover them. And as normal, you can combine them. Nothing, nothing weird with that. So the first one we'll take a look at is ignition plugs. So this makes it works well as, as an engine, I guess, um, because we get ignition plugs. It's a specialization. And this it makes the engine run only on refined fuel. So instead of the refined fuel here, 1.5 million, here we'll get 2.25 million. And you remember with the coolant, better coolant, we got 2.1 and that scales as well. So we get 2.85 here instead. And the next augment is the agitative manifold. This is one that will make the engine or the dynamo run only on gasoline. So if you take a look at, where is it? Here, gasoline comes from BioCrude in the fractioning still. We haven't covered these machines yet, but we will do that probably starting in the next episode. So this is a form of eco <laughs> recycling thing to generate biofuel. Get BioCrude from these biomass or whatever, which can come from seed oil and various vegetable, veg, veg types. <laughs> so, but it still requires coolant and then you can use a better coolant if you want. 
and of course the the augment makes gives you more out of the let's see take one gasoline here one million rf but over here we got 800k so you get well 25 percent extra from that and if you will run it here it would have been higher and then with jellied it would have been even higher so the next augment is a very very good thing if you're short on like jellied cryothium water you'll probably never be short on but um, this one is can be hard to come by so you can use a closed loop cooling so this means that the coolant is no longer consumed so I can put one bucket of cryothium or probably even less it's I put this in and I ran this for quite some time and it's uh, well it only used 100 ml buckets so I can probably pipe out this in, in some way and uh, and the dynamo will just continue to run and this will give you the higher the higher value instead so uh, th this is a quite useful and here I'm just pumping in the fuel creosote oil in this case and then the coolant will be stuck in here forever and then the final final augment it's actually the classic boiler thing we have the boiler conversion augment that we had previously with the steam dynamos and magmatic dynamos so this will in case you don't remember turn your water into steam and then you can have a steam dynamo with a turbine conversion to use the steam to generate RF. Now the math is a bit uh, less straightforward here so uh, I did some testing and in short I can say that using a hardened dynamo with only this upgrade is not worth it. You will get so little out so it's actually better to use the, uh, the what's it called the fuel catalyzer but if you boost this to a resonant with three catalyzers then it's actually worth more than the four catalyzers so um, not as good as with the uh, the basic steam dynamo but it can actually give you more fuel and this is of course with like creosote like that run it will use up the creosote oil to generate steam which will generate power all right but you are limited to water and only that because if you're trying to feed it with some the other coolant jellied cryothium and have this boiler conversion we have fuel and everything but this will not insert so you need water that's the only fuel or the coolant you can use Okay, I hope that was all. We have covered all dynamos in quite many uh, with many examples and uh, and signs and plates and calculations. And I hope that's everything. So next episode we'll probably go into machines instead. Okay, if you have any questions, you know where to leave them. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.